Hello there traders and welcome to another update on the market for today. I decided to cover British pound versus US dollar. I will speak about gold market, crude oil and Bitcoin versus US dollar. I will start with the British pound versus US dollar first. Um, we saw in the last uh, couple of days basically that market sustained the rally and start to build uh, higher highs and higher lows. We also broke that this channeling mode um, and now the buyers are in control and uh, we have demand for the pound so we have demand in control and the next uh, important pivot levels uh, upside reference points are set at the price of 1.3035 and 1.3050 so there is a still chance for the higher prices uh, you see that after the breakout uh, of the supply trend line market basically had held a pretty strong uh, building the higher lows and higher highs so this is a very good sign for the further uh, rally on the pound potential back up all the way towards the 1.30050 and if there is even a bigger power uh, then there is even a chance for 1.3125 to be on the test at the swing high at 1.2960 it held for a while uh, market rotated around but seems like uh, especially after the fmc yesterday so we see the clear demand on the british pound versus us dollar so upside a continuation to play we also can see that market ended this downswing in uh, like multiply pushes to the downside and made a big uh, divergence on the way down so that's created basically the rally and uh, that is still sustaining and looking pretty strong speaking of the gold market uh, again market made some divergences on the way down and this was the end of the downside movement market broke this pivot and also held at this point market tried to sell off buyers pulled back pretty aggressively and then sustained again building higher lows so again buyers in control potential for retest of 1987 or even uh, 1990 mark to complete uh, this potential test of this parallel parallel line anything meaningful to the upside i would like to see the breakout above uh, and hold above 19 uh, I'll say 1990 mark, which will then you can open the door for the higher prices, even though it's a 2000 or 2020 mark. So also buyers in, in control on this market. Crude oil market is still building higher lows, so we can see that, uh, and now it's also trying to rebreak again. We go to the daily time frame. We can see that. Market broke this coil and basically a um, consolidation. It took 20 days, 20 plus days to develop. And basically, it had those tests of supply very, very successful. You know, buyers buying back and had inside day yesterday seems like it's breaking today. So, it also looks like higher prices might be in the play. Uh, you can see here 83, around 83 mark can be in the play in the next period on the crude oil. And Bitcoin versus US dollar, we had the break uh, breakout to the downside a couple of days ago. Market is trying to buy back, and we can see also an hourly time frame. It's uh, it's building higher lows. So as long as this is active, uh, there is a scenario that market can rotate back into this range. So that's one scenario that we may also consider, like market can back into this and uh, again attack this level here at uh, 30,350 mark that's also a possibility possibility for the downside continuation so for now buyers are in control and they keep uh, you know we have a uh, rising higher lows and so the downside scenario only if market can break really aggressively this and hold below then this will open the door for lower prices and retest to 28,900 or even lower prices like for example, the, the area around 27,000 mark or so. But if we don't have that downside break, which we don't have at this point, then buyers can still keep in control and 
there is a chance for the market to go back towards this uh, cluster. So that will be all for this update, guys. I hope that you did enjoy. Uh, trade safe as always, and speak to you from tomorrow morning.